Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salam ala Sayyidina Rasulullah. This is the third part uh, of answering the question about Sufism or Tasawwuf. And uh, again, these are my, my, my views and my understanding of, of, of Islam for such an important, because this question is such an important question to uh, to just, you know, think of. We get a lot of questions about, you know, Sufism, Salafi, Salafis, this and that. What is the best way or what is the what, what are these sections or sects of Islam? So I'm talking now about Sufism uh, or Tasawwuf. And uh, I'm, I was saying that going extreme in any of these things without proper understanding of Islam, of Quran and Sunnah, not by our... We should not dare to jump to Quran and Sunnah without having the tools, the enough tools to understand them. Uh, especially when it comes to the the uh, the things that needs uh, that need ulama scholars to understand. Yes, we're not saying that Quran is non-accessible for everybody. No, it's accessible in the most part in the things that everybody would understand, proving the the power and, and strength of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, giving guidance for people, having all the signs that Allah is the God and this religion is the religion of truth. All of these are clear in the Quran. But it, can, it will come to a certain you know understanding of uh, uh, points. Uh, that we will need um, help from outside. This comes, uh, then comes the role of ulama, our scholars to, uh, the true scholars of Islam to teach us or to make things easy for us. Um, so when it comes to the um, um, tasawwuf and, and, and going extreme in uh, focusing on one part of, of Islam that is, you know, spirituality. And uh, I was saying that shaitan, one of the ways of shaitan to get people uh, away from Islam is not only to take them away from Islam by making evil things, by making ma'asi, by disobeying Allah. No, one of the ways is to get them deeper and deeper and deeper and it will follow the way you love. Like this person loves jihad, it will keep adding to the concept of jihad until, you know, the person g goes deeper and deeper until it gets out of Islam from the other door, from the other door. You get deeper and deeper and deeper into things that are not even parts of Islam by adding or inventing or misunderstanding some parts. Same thing for Sufi uh, or Tasawwuf. Uh, people love spirituality. Most of these people or all of them, they are soft-hearted people, you know, who are inclined to love of Allah, mercy, affection, uh, work on in the heart and suluk and irada to, to elevate higher and higher in degrees of ibadah. There is nothing wrong with this. But to go deeper and deeper and just, just focus on that 24-7, um, and you know, you are going to go very deep until we, we read in the books of, 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 of uh, scholars of Tasawwuf that you know they, 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 they say something that are not even logical. You go to the levels of kashf until they see things that regular people do not see, and they go, some of them, Kaaba, come to, to not them going to Kaaba to, to go around it, but Kaaba comes to them because these people are such a strong in faith and so on. These are not logic, these are not Islamic things. Uh, we should not go deeper like this uh, into these like like shaitan will come to you oh you love prayer you love spirituality so why don't you pray more okay you pray pray even more do even more add to your prayer do it in this time do say certain du types of dua or prayers or forms do these things you keep going deeper and deeper and deeper and until you go farther and farther and far why we have boundaries of islam you want to go you want to you know you love prayer pray allah subhanahu wa ta'ala do the obligatory uh, prayers, the five daily prayers. You are done with these, do the sunan, the rawatib before and after. You are not yet satisfied, do even more in nafl al-mutlaq. You can pray at any time, at any time you pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. For dua, ya akhi, so take the al-adhkar for now, a book of dua that is full of adhkar. If you just memorize these things and understand them and reflect on them and use them, because these are forms used by the Prophet or even before that, use the forms of dua or prayers mentioned in the Quran, invocation and supplication mentioned in the Quran. They are too many before you invent. And even if you want to invent, no problem, not invent. Use your own tongue, your own, uh, express your own self. There is no problem. But to still having, you know, fada'il al-a'mal and certain prayers to be said at certain times, to do certain things, now you are sitting, you know, a, a sunnah or a way that only the Prophet will be in this position to sit such word to be said at this time to do this and that uh, and wadaif and this and that it's only the Prophet ﷺ who can do this Subhanallah yani Islam is flexible uh, there is room for everybody it can contain everybody those who love spirituality those who are soft-hearted those who are you know uh, concerned about you know 
uh, serving others and, and be dynamic in serving the community and so on, politics in general, you would find is all of these things in Islam and even more. And even more because this religion is such matin in the head of matin. This religion is such vast and strong and uh, and and comprehensive. Uh, so we need to 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 go step by step and make sure that everything we do in Islam is approved because we can subhanallah we can be wasting our time uh, if we are not sure if you if we think we do something that is Islamic but it turns out to be non-Islamic uh, or it turns to be non-Islamic uh, practice we have to be sure about it. did the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam did uh, do something like that or is it approved if I do it and always try to be on the safe side and Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala would show you the way always there is something yani, there is an approved way to do uh, things there is I mean there is an alternative for anything that you have in your mind and you like it you like to have to celebrate the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam there is an alternative for that there is many alternatives to love the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and show your love and dedication for the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and say Salaam Alaihi Wasallam and Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam every day million times if you wish and think about it and think about the love of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and go make Umrah and you know give salam to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and visit his mosque and and visit you know and reflect on his sunnah and read his story Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and live you know live uh, um, um, psychologically live in the in the time of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam you feel you are around him and so on but not to go deeper and deeper like you think uh, yani we don't want to go with the the superstitions of some people who uh, who invent stories or shaitan make them think about stuff uh, maybe some practices or some thoughts that come to them uh, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala show us the right way may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive all of our sins may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gather all the ummah to be united and not to be you know involved in such side clashes and conflicts that uh, weaken the ummah even more and more yeah, we need to go back to the, the there is no way to go back and be united except if we go back and and be sincere above all or before we do anything be sincere in our heart and go to Quran and Sunnah as the source of our guidance the source of our guidance and at the end we disagree we, we need to respect one another but we should not go far very far away from Quran so because you are you are you are dissociating yourself from the the, the body of Ummah by inventing or going very extreme or very uh, or very far to be united we need to go back to the way of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam the way of Abu Bakr and Umar Uthman and Ali Jamia, the way of all the early scholars of Islam the true scholars of Islam uh, uh, whom you know the entire Ummah approved and and, and accepted may Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Ta-A'la show us the truth and uh, Jazakumullah Khairan forgive any um, any any mistake or anything wrong I have said anything right I have said is from Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Ta-A'la anything Anything right from Allah, anything wrong is from myself and from Shaitan. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us all. Allahu alam. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.